The mayor of Niles and city council seem to agree on a plan to get Niles out of fiscal emergency without laying anyone off. The plan's aggressive, addressing all the needs of the city, but council was assured at a meeting this evening that the money is there to pay for it all. Many things we the meeting was called by Niles Mayor Tom Skarnekian to discuss with City Council a third plan to move Niles forward and out of fiscal emergency. It goes out five years. First, the water department. We've addressed installation of water meters, replacement and installation of fire hydrants. Plus an engineering study to analyze all of the city's water lines and determine the worst ones to replace. Also in the fiscal plan will be money to replace Niles Street. Specifically mentioned was Robbins Avenue. It needs done in the next couple years. $30,000 will also be set aside in a fire truck replacement fund and an asset management program will be established. Hiring a company to implement the program will cost $250,000 to $500,000. We'll start with light. We'll move on to the utility funds, the street funds, and then general funnel be in 2018 or 2019. The plan includes no layoffs. In fact, the mayor wants to add four to six employees to be moved around on an as-need basis. We have a good group that works here in the city. We have good employees, and the last thing we would want to see is them hurt. There were questions about the money needed for what appears to be an ambitious plan for a city in fiscal emergency. But the mayor and his staff assured council the money is there and most council members left the meeting pleased. My thinking was the only way to do this was for, with significant cuts. Obviously that's not the case um, uh, based off of what the mayor and auditor said. So in, if that's the case, I'm very, very happy. Now City Council must meet again to approve the plan. There weren't enough members present tonight to get it done. It must all be finished by December 21st. That's when the state commission overseeing Niles' fiscal emergency will meet again.